Hey guys, thanks for checking out my video. In today's video, I'm going to be basically showing you one of my favorite commands in Rhino. You can take one shape that's totally different than another shape and marrying, marrying those two shapes together into one custom object. It's a pretty cool command. Let's check it out. So for this example, I've got a rectangular tube connecting and I want to connect to a cylindrical tube. Now how would I do that? Um, in today's example, I'll be showing you the loft command. And um, how a loft command works is it'll take a closed polyline or closed curve and it can basically extrude and kind of create the best path forward to connecting it to another curve. And for this example, I'm just gonna be taking two shapes. So to do so, I'm just gonna start a polyline around this rectangular tube and make sure it's closed. And on the end of this cylindrical tube, the curve is already closed, so I don't have to draw an extra curve around it. Um, but if I type in loft, and then if I select that polyline that I just drew, and then if I select my other one, the extrusion edge of the cylinder, press enter, <coughs> it will bring up a drop down menu for the loft options. And most often, I'll just keep it at normal, but you can select different options here, and it'll give you different parameters to play with. Um, an important note to see here is that I'm clicking Do Not Simplify. That basically means that it's keeping within the square and the circle, and then it's creating the best path between the two. If I clicked Rebuild here, then it's kind of going outside your boundaries here. It's saying that it's okay to not stay within that square, but for what we're trying to achieve, we're trying to have a crisp square going into a crisp circle, so it's basically making the path between the two. So I'm gonna click Do Not Simplify, Preview, and it looks good from here, and I'll press okay. And there you go, you've got your shape between the two. Um, but then one thing to note with the loft command is it'll create an open surface and um, so if I pull up the property so it says open poly surface here to make that a closed poly surface you just want to type in cap and that will make it a closed poly surface basically means that it's just putting a cap between both sides of those two and there you have it there you have it you've got closed extrusion closed poly surface closed extrusion and then if you go into rendered view, you'll kind of see that they're all matching up with one another. Here's the extra curve that I drew that we don't need anymore. Um, but this can be really helpful if say you're modeling some duct work in a building or say you've got an exhaust system for um, underneath a car. You can kind of create two unlike objects and create a union between them. Um, so it's pretty pretty amazing command and I made a lot of different vases and different uh, objects and models within Rhino using just the loft command specifically and I'll probably make some future videos showing those um, but yeah thanks for watching the video if you found it helpful leave it a, give it a like maybe subscribe to the channel if you'd like and uh, let me know in the comments if there's any other tools or tricks that you'd like me like me to go over thanks guys